Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and for today's show and tell, I wanna show you a project that we actually built on the site for Tested. Tested Premium members would have seen this already. Will and I spent a week building this guy. It's called a HypnoCube, and let me turn it on for you first. Boop. It is a four by four by four matrix of RGB LEDs, 64, full color LEDs I think can have about a thousand different colors and different levels each. And it's a kit I first saw at New York Maker Fair last year. I bought it and I thought it was a little daunting, but it turned out to be a perfect project for Will and I to build for a video series. Uh, what you get is all these LEDs in a bag, you get the PCB, the chips aren't even soldered in, so it's a lot of soldering. And over the course of a week, I built a jig, I put the LEDs in the jig. Each of the LEDs have four pins that come out of it, uh, red, green, blue, and a ground. And each of the pins have to be bent in a certain way. Then they get soldered onto these steel guide cables. A little bit challenging. Uh, but after a week of building, this is magnificent. I love this thing. Um, it comes with about 51 different animations programmed in and with a couple switches. There's an on and off switch and two switches to cycle through animations and I can just cycle through a couple of them. It's beautiful. It's kind of the thing I put in my living room and I think of it as, it's almost like a science fiction prop from an old TV show if they ever wanted to portray artificial intelligence. When I, when I call Google, um, Google Voice up, I actually think of this as like, this is my Siri, this is my Google, it's my artificial hive mind. Uh, but it's called the HypnoCube, it's $150 for the kit. Not too difficult to assemble, you will need um, to solder a little bit of it, uh, you will need to clip the steel kit, the wires, and they do give you a couple extra LEDs in case you do bust the LEDs. I think it's a fun project if you have some soldering experience, even if you wanna learn to solder, I think you can do that with this kit. Um, we're off at CES all this week. We've got some lot of cool stuff coming on the site. We're actually in Vegas right now. This is shot from the past, so stay tuned on Tested, and we'll see you next time. Bye. When will the Oculus consumer version come out?